crafty friends it's jess from jesscrafts.com and today i'm here with a card featuring gerda center designs brand new stamp set how well are you and it is a dog theme stamp set now i'm not showing the whole card tutorial today because i did a lot of really simple stuff and to start off with i did some inlaid die cutting here where i cut a two pieces of pattern paper from lawn fawn with the stitched dies and so they're inlaid to each other the brown is inlaid into that uh, maroon piece there and then I took a piece of craft cardstock and stamped the bones from the Howl Are You set all over to create like a little custom piece of pattern paper there but I chose to keep it all inside of the stitching as opposed to making come off the edge as you traditionally would with pattern paper just because I wanted to kind of tie in the dog theme here and then I have this die cut from Your Next Stamp which is a really delicate celebrate die and as you can see you kind of wind up fussing with those a little bit to try to get all the pieces out and stick that down but by doing the inlaid die cutting I was able to get that celebrate word out of the same pattern paper that I used for my mat there. Now I am stamping the dog directly onto the card base which might seem a little bit odd right now because um, he's being stamped onto pattern paper and that sort of thing but he's going to be covered. The reason that I put him there is because I wanted a guide for where eventually things would go on the card and also for this hat. Because he's going to be wearing the hat, the hat has those little like pieces of fringe at the top and those need to be stamped on because I'm not going to cut them out. I would not want to bother with that sort of fussy cutting. So that kind of pre-puts that down on the paper. And then when I do a little paper piecing to get that hat on there, it will already have its fringe and I won't have to worry about that. Now I'm using archival ink to stamp down this doggy on some watercolor paper because I am going to be using zig markers. I resisted the zig real brush pens for a long time and I still don't have many of them. I just ran across a particularly good deal that I couldn't pass up. And so when I was able to pick these up at Tupelo Designs, I went for it. And I don't have a lot of colors, but what's awesome about the Zig pens is you don't have to have a lot of colors. They blend a lot easier in some ways than Copics. I think they're a little bit more forgiving and um, better for newer uh, coloring people. You know, if you're not if you're new to coloring, you might find these a little bit easier to master. And so what I did here was I simply laid down some of this yellowish color and then some of the brown right on top of it. And it did a lot of nice blending just by itself and you could have left it like that. But then you have the option of going in with the water. And the water basically just tones it down like it really would with any watercolor sort of medium is adding water makes it lighter. And that's what it does here. And it helps the two colors to blend together a little bit. But being able to use a yellow right next to a brown and get a nice blend is a pretty cool feature about these markers. So I encourage you, even if you only pick up a handful of them, that they are quite fun to play with. And the blending is so super simple because you can blend just by coloring the two markers next to each other or by adding a little bit of water. And I will fussy cut out that little doggy and add his birthday hat. And that's going to be it for this card today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in more, especially lengthier card tutorials, you can subscribe to my channel. And I will leave you a link to the Gerda Center Designs blog and stamp shop and Facebook group, especially if you like to share your designs with us, please join us on that Facebook group. And um, you can also find all of my social media links in the video description below. Thanks for watching. Bye.